I cannot believe we are already here, guys. I cannot believe we are at the end, basically, of Splatoon 3. For all my fellow Splatters out there, man, this is it. In the month of September, the Grand Festival will be upon us, where we have to make arguably what could be the biggest decision going forward in the Splatoon universe, man. And I love me some Splatoon! And this is a tough one. This is a tough one. In case you didn't hear the news yet, but I'm certain if you clicked on this, you you know the news, right? You're getting the Grand Festival. It's the big cojones of festivals, man. This is it. Basically, they do this for every Splatoon game where they have one big one, and the theme of that big Grand Festival will influence literally the next Splatoon video game so this is a big one and they chose a very very big theme and i'm here to tell you which of these three options i chose and basically i'm telling you which team is going to win my track record i just want to say i've been doing uh, these splatfest since the og splatoon game okay i was there i was one of the people in the wii u that bought this game day one i've been playing it like that and my win record i'm at least about i'd say 80 to 85 percent of all the Splatfests I've ever entered, I have actually been on the winning team. So there's a very good odd that I'm going to also win this. And I want to point out that I won the Grand Festival or whatever it was called on the OG Splatoon and Splatoon 2s as well. So again, I'm not to brag, but I'm released, if nothing else, really good at picking the winning team. But before I go into that, I need to tell you even what the teams are and all that good stuff. So let's do this. The choices that you have are what is basically most important to you. Is it your past, your present, or your future? Which, those are some pretty dang good options. And I honestly think if I was younger, my choice would have differentiated greatly. But my choice has definitely changed a lot. I'm not going to tell you what mine is yet because I wanted to also tell you what idol group is going to represent each one of these uh, options because they brought, like I said, they're bringing back all of the idol groups, which is just awesome in and of itself. So I get a chance, for example, if I want to at least, I can rock with Callie and Marie again and whatnot, you know. So this is really cool. I just, I really like this option. So let's go over this now. Let's talk about this. Let's get all the juicy details and then I'll tell you which team I will be representing in the Grand Festival. Representing Team Past will be, in fact, the Squid Sisters themselves. Representing Team Present will be Off the Hook. And representing Team Future, you have Deep Cut. That is quite a tough selection. I love all these idol groups personally. Like I said, I've been around since 2015 playing these games. Splatoon 3 has been kind of an interesting one for me because I've focused more on Salmon Run and I did the main story arcs and I haven't had a chance to get too far into the multiplayer now that I'm a dad. So I don't have the chance to really hone in my skills. I actually have been getting on recently and oh boy, I, I suck. I'm not good at the games just because I've been playing them for a long time doesn't mean I'm good. But none of that matters. Let's do this now. I am choosing Team Present. And it's against my better judgment. I am fairly positive Team Future is going to take this one. I mean, it's the big man, right? It's Shiver, it's Fry, and I think a lot of people always try to place an emphasis on the future being the most important. As a matter of fact, if you were to ask me back when I was younger in my college years, I probably would have said the same thing, and that makes sense because, you know, you're in college, and what's most important? Well, you are preparing for your future and all of this stuff. And when you're in high school, what are you doing? You know, they always say you're preparing for your future, which is why I don't think a lot of people will pick Team Past unless they have a serious obsession with the Squid Sisters, which hey, I get it. Nothing wrong with that. I know a lot of people say you can't choose or you shouldn't choose what team based off of uh, what Squid Sister or what character you like the most. A lot of people I remember when Splatoon 3 came out were all upset because everybody seemed to keep picking Shiver because people were simping for Shiver. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to pick an idol group to follow, you go do you man you pick for whatever reasons you want no judgment here i'm a judgment free zone all right but no now that i'm older and i've been through life and i'm raising a kid i'm always focused on the now i'm focused at, in the moment and while yes i'm obviously preparing for my future i'm not really focused on 
my future, though. I'm focused on my kid's future, but my kid's future is entirely dependent on how well I'm raising him literally right now in the moment. So for me, I gotta stick true to myself, and I am going to be representing Team Present, and I'm going to be giving it my all because I want to win this grand festival so, so, so badly. And while I could pretend like I want to win this super badly on behalf of my son because I'm trying to raise him to be the best he can be and all that good stuff, that's a load of crap, all right? I'm doing this just so I can keep bragging that I win these things. And it's very important to me to, if nothing else, win the grand finale. I was correct with the grand finale in Splatoon. I was correct with the grand finale in Splatoon 2. And I want to be correct now for the third game so I can just say it. Then later on, when Splatoon 4, whenever that releases, which will probably be next year if I was taking a guess, I can say, hey, I was right again, ha ha ha. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's the small victories, okay? It's the small victories in life. <laughs> so, yes, I am choosing Team Present. Like I said, I, truthfully, be, to be told, I think Team Future is going to win. Based off of the demographic, too, of uh, people playing this game, I have a sneaking suspicion, if nothing else, the popular vote will definitely be Team Future. But I'm hoping Team Present wins, regardless of what it actually means and how they're going to implement it into the next installment of this franchise. I hope I was able to persuade you. Basically, what I'm really trying to say is, is if you're an older person that actually has a child or has children and you're a family man or a family person... Uh, you should pick Team President because I'm one of you, and that's we're, we're gonna represent. We're gonna rock, okay? We're gonna we're gonna go with <laughs> Marina and Pearl on this one. All right, so just join the dark side, which is really not the dark side. It's it's the cool side. It's it's, it's a side. Just just what just pick what you want, okay? And that's all I gotta say. I was trying to find a way to make this ten minutes long, so I can uh, apparently if you get to the ten minute mark, you get a lot more. Uh, traction on your channel but i can't do it i can't do it literally i'm I, i'm not even close anyways so let me know in the comments down below what team are you choosing are you past are you present are you future let me know what you are choosing to go with and give me some arguments as to why your team's better than mine or if you're in agreement let me know some other awesome thoughts that maybe i didn't think because this is just me talking spur of the moment i didn't like put all my thoughts together i didn't write anything down <laughs> i'm just just going with it all right and as always guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i am bradley overrated out like a trout stay fresh guys and i will see you on the next one take care